What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and the backlash against Disney, against Star Wars, and against Lucasfilm has begun in full force as fans do the only thing they can do, speak with their wallets after it was revealed that Lucasfilm has fired Gina Carano, that they have canceled Gina Carano for her political opinions. There is no other way to spin it. That is the bottom line. That is what happened. Gina Carano doesn't think the same way that the people in this echo chamber at Lucasfilm and in Hollywood think. So they have fired her, despite having numerous people employed that have said way worse and more offensive things than what she has said, but it falls in line with the narrative that they want. So now she has been fired. The woke Twitter mob has canceled Gina Carano. She will no longer be on The Mandalorian. She will no longer work with Star Wars. Well, I think it may have backfired just a little bit for Disney Plus because after it was revealed that Lucasfilm calls Gina Carano's social media posts abhorrent, actress no longer employed by the Mandalorian studio, what did we see on Twitter? Well, we saw Gina Carano trend. We talked about that. I made a video about it like two hours ago. But then we saw something else trend. Hashtag cancel Disney Plus. Cancel Disney Plus has been trending number one for quite a while now as people are fighting back, the, like I said, the only way they can. They are speaking their mind and speaking with their wallets by canceling the Disney Plus subscription service. And that's the only thing that you can do. That's the only thing that will work to these people is money because they have no morals. They do not care. They have someone like Pedro Pascal is still employed who compared, who literally said that 74 million Americans are Nazis. Not made an allegory, not made some sort of comparison to what's going on in society between this and Nazi Germany. No, he called them Nazis. There's a huge difference there. And for all of the retards out there that don't understand that, I don't know what to do for you. You have a room temperature IQ if you don't understand the difference between making an allegory between governments basically brainwashing people and the media brainwashing people into feeling that a certain type of person shouldn't exist exist and actually calling someone a Nazi. If you don't understand the differences there, I can't help you. You're fucking hopeless. But anyway, hashtag cancel Disney plus trends at number one. And you can see Jack Posobiec at the forefront of a lot of this. Stop giving money to people who hate you. Uh, retweeting Dave Rubin. Disney has canceled Gina Carano, so I'm canceling my Disney+. Plus. We need to stop giving these people our money, and we must build new franchises. Then invites Gina Carano onto his show. I would really like to see her take him up on that. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, Anna says, well, all you weirdos used a hashtag to harass and campaign for Gina Carano to get fired. So apparently there's something there since Disney hasn't figured out that hashtags don't equal money. Cancel Disney plus. Um, and of course a lot of people tracking it as it happened, right? Tracking all of this. Dis cancel Disney plus trending past 25 K in under 40 minutes. I think some execs are going to be very regretful after this weekend. Cecil saying, can we buy stock in Pirate Bay? I think that's the way a lot of people are going to be going. It's trending in Canada as well, right? Trending all over the world. Cancel Disney Plus. That is the reaction that people are having after it was revealed that she was fired. Not only has Gina Carano been fired, it goes further than that. Because like I said, the people in Hollywood... They don't just want you fired from that spot. They want you to never work again. They want to unperson you. They want to destroy you. That is what the woke echo chamber, the leftist Twitter mob, the cancel culture, like the cancel culture culture, right? That is what this is. Wanting to unperson people, want them to die in the streets, dead with nothing to their name because you don't agree with something that they think. And look at what's happened now. UTA has also dropped the actor who will no longer be part of the Star Wars galaxy. And here's this absolutely garbage article. Honestly, some of this stuff is to the level where Gina Carano may be looking at legal action possible against these people. I'm not even being facetious, not being hyperbolic. Some of the lies that they are spewing right now are disgusting and there could be action against that. Gina Carano will not be returning to the Mandalorian or the Star Wars galaxy after sharing a post on social media implying that being a Republican today is like being Jewish during the Holocaust. That was not anything like what she posted. What she posted 
was something that said that the government and the media got people to turn against the Jewish population, that they had brainwashed them into hating something, right? That's what that said and said, wow, there's a lot of parallels to what's going on in society and hating people for their political opinions and what we see going on with the news and with some people in our government turning society against anyone that has a specific point of view. How ironic that only hours after that, it's revealed that she's been fired. Looks like she was kind of spot on, right? Looks like she was kind of spot on. And this is the Lucasfilm spokesperson who, again, this is absolutely lies. Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and no plans to, for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Now, I, I think you are going to see some legal evaluations of this statement. Because this is a lie, right? That's not what she did at all. She did not denigrate anyone based on their cultural or religious identities. And really, all Lucasfilm had to say was that she's not employed. But instead, they went on to slander her character. I think that could. I think something could come of that in the future. Just, just, uh, just keep that in mind. Carano has also been dropped as a client by UTA, an agency spokesperson confirms. So she not only loses her job. She loses her agent because of the lies perpetuated by the media and by Lucasfilm now. And, uh, you know, some of these absolute idiots, these absolute idiots are rejoicing and celebrating, of course. And some people are so dumb that they think saying cancel Disney Plus is being part of cancel culture. They are so fucking stupid that they can't understand the difference between canceling a subscription service, no longer paying for something and canceling a person. Look at this idiot. Weren't y'all telling us to get a life when we participated in cancel culture? And Disgruntled Jedi does what he can. Canceling a person ruined their life is a shitty thing to do. Canceling a service or product you pay money for that no longer gives you what you want is supply and demand. Look at how dumb this person is. Not a surprise. They are not only a Pedro Pascal fan, but they're also a, a Naughty Dog fan. That is the worst of both worlds, to be honest with you. The hashtag is cancel Disney Plus, not cancel my Disney Plus subscription. Do you really expect people to see the difference if the word cancel is literally used in it? You can't be this stupid to not see the difference, can you? Oh, yes, they can. I'm, I gotta like both of those. The absolute retardation of some people is astounding. But uh, the backlash has only just begun. I can promise you that. I know people like myself aren't going to stop talking about this. I know there's an entire group of people out there who love Gina Carano and what she represented in Star Wars who are going to cancel their Disney Plus, who are going to walk away from everything and will not stop talking about this regardless of how much, again, the far echo chamber lunatics that want to sit in their bubble, regardless of how much they want us to be quiet, we will not. We will continue to speak out about this. I will continue to support Gina Carano and stand up for her in each and every way possible. And there's an army of people who are going to do the same. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.